GT Academy started as a crazy idea dreamt up by a petrol head from Nissan and a gaming fanatic from PlayStation. During a conversation about how close to reality racing simulator Gran Turismo had become, they wondered what would happen if you transported a virtual gamer into the real world of motor racing. Would their virtual skills be able to transfer from virtual to reality? Would the fear of reality get the better of them? There was only one way to find out, and so the GT Academy idea was born. With the simple idea of taking gamers into the real world, backed up by delivering entertaining content for fans, the experiment went ahead, and in 2008, the first GT Academy opened its doors to PlayStation gamers across Europe. 30,000 gamers applied by playing Gran Turismo online, competing to set the fastest virtual lap time in a Nissan 350Z. The 18 fastest gamers from across Europe were invited to Silverstone, where they competed in various real-world driving challenges under the watchful eye of GT Academy head judge and Formula One legend Johnny Herbert, as well as TV crews there to capture the drama. After five days of blood, sweat and gears, the first ever GT Academy winner was crowned, a big-haired Spanish student by the name of Lucas Ordonez. His prize was to race for Nissan in the prestigious Dubai 24-hour race. To the amazement of everyone involved, not only did he get around without crashing, he proved to be as fast as his professional teammates, including his mentor Johnny Herbert. Everyone involved realized then and there that the experiment had worked. You really could take someone from the virtual world and make them a real racing driver that could compete with the best in the world. GT Academy allowed Nissan to create a path for normal but talented people to get into a sport that was normally dominated by the privileged few. The democratization of motorsport had begun. The experiment caught the attention of journalists, resulting in scores of international press features and even a documentary, which was picked up by broadcasters across Europe. Since the first GT Academy in 2008, it has expanded and developed at a remarkable rate, going from strength to strength and growing in size and importance in each of the six years it's been running. The number of participants has now topped 5 million, starting from just 30,000 in 2008. During this time, over 1.3 billion virtual miles has been driven in Nissan vehicles and the number of markets has grown from just Europe in 2008 to 35 countries in 2014. GT Academy is now a prolific content generator, with a five-part reality TV show being individually made each year for all markets. These shows are successfully distributed on major broadcasters around the world, including ITV, RTL, Sky, Fox Sports, DMAX, Spike, Russia 2, NBC Action, Supersport, 10 Australia, and Discovery. GT Academy has proven to be extremely engaging on social media, gaining over 195 million Facebook impressions and 2.7 million interactions, not to mention thousands of Twitter followers and 8.6 million YouTube views. GT Academy has won many industry awards, including gold in the prestigious Can Lion two years running and the Autosport Innovation Award for the most innovative approach to motorsport. On the track, GT Academy graduates have shocked the motorsport industry with their meteoric rise to the top. They have won championships, major international races, and even been on the podium twice at the world's greatest race, Le Mans. In 2013 and 2014, they have achieved over 70 podiums from Japan to Malaysia, to USA, to Nürburgring, to Spa. When GT Academy was first launched, Autoblog posed a question. This is either the stupidest idea ever, or the most brilliant co-promotion for two brands in the history of mankind. I think we have answered that one.